What is going on? Beautiful people. So, we gonna go uh, do a bit of riding, huh? We're solo today. That's all right. Um, I actually got my big camera with me and we're going to go do a little bit of uh, picture taking and have ourselves a mighty fine time. I got some things to talk about, uh, kind of some big things, kind of random but not really at the same time, I just haven't really ever talked about it so yeah. So I'm going to start off with a simple fact of, uh, for those of you who don't like really personally know me, and maybe some of you who even do, you probably don't know this though, I used to be fairly big into the whole uh, photography thing. It's something that I used to enjoy a lot. You're just gonna... Okay. We love that. It's something I used to be pretty serious about for... I don't know, like four, five-ish years, somewhere in between there. But, uh... It's also something that, like... I ended up just kind of losing interest in because... Number one, it's stupid expensive. And um, also like, I just got to a point where I was so hard on myself with it. Like it was uh, affecting the mental a little, not a lot, but a little. And I don't know, I just needed a break from it. And I always knew I would go back to it. I just didn't know how serious I was gonna be about it. And um, probably about, a year to a year and a half ago I bought my first like good expensive camera and um, I bought a Canon RP which is a full frame mirrorless camera and I've used it a total of like four times I think so that goes to show but with that being said I finally picked up another lens for it because I've just been using the uh, kit lens that came with it. I feel like this car is on my tail. Okay, they backed off a little bit. I picked up a 50 millimeter. I didn't get the freaking $1,200 one, but I got the 50 millimeter, the 1.8, and instead of the 1.4, which is the expensive one. Uh, just because I don't really intend on shooting a lot of like low light stuff and I don't really need it. So, we're gonna go see how it does today. We're gonna go back here and hopefully not get bothered. That's been a trend down here in the past. <laughs> we got some doggos. Somebody out here? I love dogs, but I don't like getting bit by them. Where'd they go? Did they just bounce? They did. Let's go in here. I guess I'll just kind of keep an eye open for them. This is kind of a cool little spot though. I don't know about this. There's another spot we can go to though, it's not far. We're gonna get out of here. I'm not playing around, dude. I have terrible luck when it comes to dogs in this YouTube channel. And I am so done taking chances. You guys don't understand. I love dogs. That's the worst part. I literally adore those things. But, dogs let out on the loose? I don't know if I'm messing around with that. If it was one of them, it'd be one thing. But it's two of them mobbing around together. And I'm not trying to 
figure out if they're nice or not the hard way, so. We're gonna continue our journey. I'm gonna turn that light off too before it dies. Fire. Shout out only grobs. Gotta get a little something for him. Another thing I kind of wanted to touch on here. <sighs> this one's hitting hard. But I'm also very excited at the same time. So, let's just get right into it. So this bad girl is for sale. I posted it on Marketplace this past week. Um, I'm not getting out of the bikes. I'm not quitting the whole YouTube thing. Nothing like that. But the Grom is for sale. Slash trade. Mostly for sale. But um, I listened to the Marketplace this past week. A few reasons. Um, a lot of the people I used to ride with, like mostly Groms I'm talking about here, just sold their bikes, got different bikes, whatever. Uh, the Grom scene here locally is just not really as big as it used to be, which is unfortunate, but that's kind of how it goes. Uh, you know, it's just like whether it's people getting hurt or, you know, life just doing what life does and throwing stuff at you or whatever. It's just not what it used to be. I don't know. I've gotten to the point where this is just, uh, I love this thing to death. Like this is, this thing right here has made like memories that I will never ever forget. Um, it's made friends that I'll probably never ever lose. But I think it's just time for me to, uh, to take a little different approach towards riding, sort of, but also not really. Because when I'm looking at our supermotos, so yeah. Hopefully be expecting a little bit of a change on the channel here soon. I think for the better personally. Um, you know. Essentially it's just a street legal dirt bike for those of you who aren't aware. It's just got uh, street tires. Bigger street tires, not like skinnies. And I'm very excited to have one of my possessions soon, hopefully. As much as I want to keep this thing, I don't really care to be mobbing a tiny little bike around by myself all the time. Number one, it's not very safe. <laughs> Number two, it's just like extremely inconvenient at times, but depending on where I'm wanting to go, like this stuff right here is nothing. I, like, I could do this every day, but it's like going across town or getting into town or whatever like it can be a pain dude like i gotta kind of like figure out where i'm going ahead of time before i even leave so i don't know i just see a lot more upsides of getting a bigger bike in the supermoto than the grom right now and if i had the room to have two bikes the grom would not be going anywhere i would just go buy a supermoto right now but i really don't so she's got to go and as far as what I'm gonna get, I really don't know. I've been talking to a handful of people about it. You know, I wouldn't mind like a WR. I'm probably gonna get a 250 if I go that route. I've heard so many good things about DRZs. I've just heard they're pretty much like the Groms with Supermotos as far as just being tanks. So, I don't know. But, I don't know, that's really all I've looked at. Seriously, there was a pretty clean KTM. I think it was like a 300 or something, but I think it's already sold. And I don't know. I'm just kind of hung on what I want to do, or what I want to get. If any of you guys own what I just listed there, let me know, let me know what you think. Or if you have owned, let me know. Because I'm definitely needing opinions right now. So yeah. That's really like the big news. Um, we out here taking quicks. This could be the last ride on the Grom. And we're trying to get a supermoto. I think that's it. Seems like it. I think so.